I was working in a warehouse packing and shipping orders, standing on my feet six hours a day. And so this was an opportunity that was too good to pass up. We're here to celebrate the graduation of the latest cohort of Step It Up America graduates, 24 young women who have been through a very rigorous program and we're extremely proud of them. I've been very fortunate to have been involved with the Step It Up America program since its very inception. As a matter of fact, I'm delighted to be back here in Atlanta where we began the program, launched our very first cohort of graduates, and here we are 700 graduates later. The Step It Up America program teaches people that are non-technical to become technical and then indoctrinates them into the area of their specialty in a way that they actually get more training than someone out of college. I've enjoyed interacting with everyone from us to global the candidates to see how they've grown uh, you know from when I first interviewed them I interviewed them all talked to them all personally and to see where they're at today four or five months later is it's, um, it's, it's very nice to see. We learn a lot in a very short amount of time uh, we've learned programming languages, we've learned cutting edge uh, process automation, and of course, small things that people tend to overlook, especially uh, engineers, about how to speak, how to get um, a classroom's attention. Th these are things that are overlooked, but I'm glad that this program isn't overlooking that. Our coaches and our mentors, they kept us positive, they uplifted us. Our mentor especially, you know, she made sure you're a woman, yes, but you can still be successful in IT. It's not just a man's job. We are all came from different culture, so this is a diversified uh, community. And what I feel here is like people are really helping each other to grow and to helping each other to uh, overcome your weakness. And we encourage each other and try to help each other to become a better person. So when we first stepped into the class, I thought this is a bunch of diverse people and maybe I wouldn't fit in. But today, I've just not found friends. I have a work family. They're all my sisters. So we've been in classroom mode, we've been training, and next week introduces us to the real world. I'm looking forward to the new environment, you know, going inside to the client side and actually walking with the team and seeing what the job really does entail. And UST tells you, we think you made it through school, so we think you can learn, and we're gonna give you the opportunity to learn and make money and create a career, which is a lifetime opportunity. If the opportunity is ever given to someone, they need to grasp it. I feel like I've caught the brass ring on the merry-go-round. UST's motto is transforming lives through technology and I definitely think I will be transforming lives because first of all my life has been transformed and secondly the robotics field impacts a bunch of people because it it makes things easier to do it progresses things forward so instead of your base technology where it was harder and you had to type a lot more now you have Pe Pega Robotics which makes it a lot easier so I definitely think we will be transforming a lot more lives through this. I'm forever thankful to UST because without them, I would probably still be this person who was fresh out of college and didn't have a direction and didn't know where to go, what to do, and how I was ever going to get there with no experience. I'm greatly thankful for the program because this gave me a start, um, you know, in my career um, because since I, w I didn't have experience in the beginning, no, no company would actually hire me. Um, even for an entry-level job, they require at least one year of experience, which I didn't have. So this opportunity gave me um, a great way to start my career. You've gone through 700 plus hours of in classroom instruction, specifically on automation. So you've crammed into a four-month time frame what most people go through two years to get an undergraduate degree in computer science. Women make up about 34% of the, the technology landscape, and that number's been going down since 2012. So I'm proud today that we added 20 new members to the, the technology field that will help increase those numbers. UST Global has done a tremendous job in transforming lives. They've taken these ladies, some of them unemployed, some of them recent college graduates, um, taught them about IT, taught them how to be computer programmers, and then um, taught them how to build software robots to transform banks. Just really happy to be part of this whole program and give these ladies a chance to be successful.